Now, see Bitcoin uh, has remained stable above that 34,000 uh, support zone. If we look at the screen there, we see uh, the color on uh, the market there. Uh, pockets of red. But green is also uh, quite uh, pronounced in this market with Bitcoin. They're holding the green. But Solana, Solana is looking really good. Uh, deeper, deeper, deeper green color there. We're seeing for uh, Solana and $43. Big 5% um, jump there with all the... Um, FTX drama, we've seen Solana really uh, get back, even though uh, we've seen issues with FTX and Sam Bankman freed, Solana is uh, getting better. Let's look at the sentiments right now in the market, 66 points, um, that's where we're having there. It's uh, lost that 70 point level, but it's still greed, still a very greedy market, showing that investors are still quite um, positive about this market, looking for more um, profit at this time. Talking about the fear greed index. Let's look at the top cryptocurrencies we track. Now we see Bitcoin, uh, $35,281 um, this morning, 8 a.m., 0.87%, almost 1% um, jump there. But we've seen XRP giving up some gains, 2.24%. Even though XRP has been on that run from the low, uh, high 50 cents level, it's now trading at 67 cents. Cardano, 35 cents, 0.98% pullback. So we're seeing pullbacks, uh, but the Bitcoin uh, still remaining in that positive. Um, territory while Ethereum holding on $1,878. Um, uh, Let's bring in my guest now, uh, Olo Poroku, Adeni, financial market analyst. Great to have you on the show. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's a fascinating time in the crypto space to talk about the significant advancements that we have now. Right, and definitely AI. It's all about AI, artificial intelligence. We see um, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman recently announced some new features for chats. Uh, GPT. Tell us about these updates and what they mean for crypto. Absolutely. As you said, OpenAI has been at the forefront of AI development and the latest buzz revolves around their newest release, GPT-4 Turbo. It's not just another update, it's actually a leap. GPT-4 Turbo can process both text and images, providing a more nuanced understanding and response capability. This means that within the crypto industry, GPT-4 Turbo could analyze market data alongside social media trends to predict trends and also help improve security by identifying phishing attempts through image recognition. The potential here is truly groundbreaking and um, we in the crypto space, we are looking forward to utilizing these new features and seeing where it leads us to. And talking about these features, do they support uh, trades in any way? We do know about the uh, chatbots and all of that on Telegram. How are these... Um AI platforms, how are they helping traders uh, make profit or better trades? One of the advantages that these AI platforms have is that for um, experienced traders and top trading organizations, they can actually integrate this into their um, trading systems. And you know that um, if you have used ChatGPT, you definitely know that it's a wonderful platform to utilize in different ways. And according to what I've been seeing and reading from the crypto space, there are a lot of um, updates coming up that many top trading platforms intend to integrate. Like I'm um, having AI analyze data. You know that in the crypto space, we have our markets just moves based on different trends. So having an AI bagged ecosystem can help traders and also help AI companies. You know that we have some AI companies in the crypto space like SingularityNet, Fetch.ai, and these platforms have spiked this year due to ChatGPT. And with this latest update, there's a lot of potentials, and I think there's a lot of excitement in the crypto space. Because I'm, I'm imagining in my head now um, a time where uh, AI is trading for uh, most of the investors <laughs> right now. I'm wondering which investors are going to lose. Is AI going to be that um, accurate in spotting good investments? Yeah, obviously, um, AI is going to be quite good in that because um, if you could see the way um, ChatGPT has been able to, or AI has been able to, like, transform the content industry whereby every, where many of these um, content creators are complaining about similarities in work and all that. Just imagine what could happen in, a, in the crypto space when we are able to successfully integrate AI. We even have some trading companies that have integrated copy trading rights where people are able to trade based on the um, trades of, a, um, of an experienced trader. With AI now, it's even going to be more autonomous whereby AI and actually do most of the trades for them. So I think um, it's an exciting prospect, and I myself, I'm also imagining what could actually... 
happen yeah. with that. Let, let's just hope AI doesn't get uh, uh, self-aware <laughs> at this point. But uh, well, we're looking at, uh, I'm sure most investors are looking into 2024 at this time. Uh, what narratives are you expecting you know, the crypto space to dominate? And what altcoins do you see also uh, playing a bigger uh, a role in 2024, talking about the crypto market? Obviously, 2024 is going to be about Bitcoin because of the halving. Um, for those that don't know about um, the Bitcoin halving, it's an event that happens roughly every four, four years, and it cuts the reward of mining new um, Bitcoin blocks in half, effect effectively reducing the new supply of Bitcoin. The last halving that happened um, led to the spike of Bitcoin going from about 20-something thousand into like 60,000. And we've noticed from trends that Bitcoin halving tends to um, be um, surpassed by bullish run. So that's what many of us are expecting. And also, there are a lot of factors that we're looking at, regulatory shifts. Bitcoin ETF has been the hottest thing everyone is talking about, but we are yet to get any Bitcoin ETF approved by the SEC. There's a lot of right. expectations on, uh, about that. With right. regards to altcoins, then obviously I'll talk about the popular ones like Ethereum. We all know that if Bitcoin should move as we expect next year, Ethereum is likely to make a significant spike and some people are still waiting for the day that Ethereum is going to surpass Bitcoin on the on, um, on the coin market right. cap. But obviously, and we have BNB and Solana. Right. So, so much to look out for in this market. Everyone talking about uh, Ethereum flipping Bitcoin at some point. Yeah. We'll see if that ever happens. Thank you so much, uh, Lower Poroku Adini, Financial Market Analyst. It was great having your perspective. Thank you. And till next time. Thank you. All right, so that's the crypto market for you right now. It's still greed um, right now. And I hope that that helps you uh, make your trade decisions going forward. That's a wrap on the program. Don't forget to join us at uh, 1.30 on uh, Business Incorporated for more updates and developments in the world of business. Thank you again for watching. I'm Laddie Williams. Have a profitable day.